Hey Jamrin developers, this is Jamrin guys. So 25th tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be creating activity indicator on button press. That is, this is my login page. If we press my login button, then I get my activity indicator in order to go to next page. So in order to create such type of project, let's go to file new, then project, select cross platform. Since we are creating cross platform app, so we should select cross platform and then select shared as well as portable project. Here app.jaml has two parts, they are jaml as well as code behind. It's an area where you are evaluating our app to start from the position. Here main page is a placeholder which contains the page to be loaded. Now let us go to our main page. In order to save my time, I'll drag and drop my design part of login page. I request you to hard code it. Since here the page is of content page type, as we already discussed content page may contain many layout as it's the first layer. Now let us drag and drop our grid view inside our content page. This is my simple login form that I have created inside my Jamrin forms. Within a stack layout, I am placing name as well as passport. I am giving a font size of 20 as well as font attribute as bold. You can give any attribute to it. Entry as numeric as we are going to enter numeric as well as alphabetical values. For my second stack layout, I am placing a button and giving a background color as specified. That is my button color will be our yellow color. You can play with this button color as well as background color values and make even more better than me. Now let us close our grid view. Then we have to place activity indicator. I'll give a name as activity indicator and then is running I'll give a binding property to it is VG then vertical option as center let's do it center and then horizontal option as center and then color as blue that's all after adding our binding property now let's go to our code behind of main page let's go to main page dot cs now let us initialize this component to this main page then we have to define the binding context as this dot binding context is equals to this then we have to set the is property to false now let us create login button action this dot button login dot clicked plus is equals to button login clicked now at last let us create a button click handler that is this dot is busy is equals to true by setting private white button login clicked objects sender event arguments e and then this dot is busy is equals to true now let us build our project whether it gets compiled or not build is getting started since i am using physical device and reflecting using visor let us see whether it gives me correct output or not okay our project is being debugged okay application is debugging our app is ready let's see whether it gives me output or not okay we got now let us press our login button then we will get this output that's all for this now and thank you guys for watching this tutorial keep in touch for next tutorials